Hi guys, it's Amy from Master Stretch and let's talk about squat form. So you've probably heard that you should never squat uh, below your knees. And if you've, I've been told that, I used to believe that, and I wanted just to come on here and talk a little bit about that. Uh, in particular, range of motion when you're exercising. So if there's a doctor that's ever told you you shouldn't be squatting, you should run the other way. Because number one, they don't know anything about exercise <laughs> and the body. And number two, that is wrong. I'm in a squat now. And my hips are below my knees. That squat is fine. When you come into loaded squats, that's with weights or whatever, it can be a little tricky. But let's talk about that for a minute. So I believe you can go as far as you can in your range of motion as long as you can own that range of motion. What do I mean by that? That means you can maintain your strength as you go into the squat and come out of the squat. That's very, very important. Um, so owning that range of motion is particularly important because you need to have the strength to come in and out of that range of motion. A few factors that come into play with squats. Your leg length, your bone length, um, your torso length, the length of your limbs comes into play. Some I have a long torso. So for, um, for me, coming into a squat and not folding forward might be a little more difficult than someone that has a short torso. We all have different leg lengths, limb lengths, so that's going to affect your squat form, and that's never taken into consideration. Number two, when you come into squats and they say, oh, don't go below your knees, you might hurt your back. Well, that's more of a core activation thing and a strength thing than anything else. So when it comes to squats, you need to know your body, know what feels good, know that you can own that range of motion, and variety really matters. There's all kinds of different squats, and I would encourage you to do all kinds of different squats from a yoga squat coming down like this to more um, knees and line over ankles. And see, again, my leg length and the tension in my calves is gonna to contribute to how far um, my knees go forward. And as far as knees go, going over the toes isn't necessarily a bad thing. If your knees start to hurt, maybe it is. But in, in essence, it's really not a bad thing. So vary those squats. Um, a, a plie squat where you're coming out and coming down, that's a variation. So there's a single leg squat. Same thing with uh, lunges, right? A lunges is, is basically a squat. If you wanna work on your ankle mobility, this is a squat, right? So get that those knees over the toes. So what I'm saying is, there's no fast and hard rules <laughs> when it comes to squats. So what, if someone tells you, oh, can't go drop your butt below your knees, yeah, you can. So you need to know your body, you need to know how much strength your body has, and you need to own your range of motion. You have to have a strong core, obviously, so you need to work on all those things. You need to find, if you're looking for someone, if you've had issues before, find a trainer that knows these things <laughs> and isn't so short-sighted when it comes to um, range of motion and squat and biomechanics. Um, I'm, I'm at fault. I used to believe these things, but the more I've learned, the more I've read, um, I've widened my perspective on what squat form is. So. Anyway, I just want to come on here and chat about that a little bit because I see that a lot and, you know, <laughs> trainers like, no, don't do it this way. And I think they're just being overly cautious and that's fine. I, I get that. Um, it is a safer, but then also you're not um, increasing your mobility and increasing your mobility and uh, is a very important thing as far as longevity and quality of life as you get older. So just want to come on here and talk, chat about that a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or opinions, <laughs> please go ahead and like let the uh, write those in the comments below and let me know what you think. So until next time, this is Amy from Master Stretch. Bye for now.